Hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to solve a problem of uh, kinematics. You can see the problem over here. Uh, an object falling from rest from an unknown height. That means here the object is falling from the position of rest and the height is unknown to you. And in the last second of its motion, the object travels a distance of 53.90 meter. So these are the two data that is given to you. Here you can see the cursor that the object is falling from rest from an unknown height and in the last second that means during the last one second of its motion it is uh, traveling a distance of 53.90 meter so you have to determine what is the height from which the object is falling h you have to determine that we have assumed it as h and the total time taken by the object in falling so the total time from a to b so from when the object is freely freely falling to the ground level how much time it is taking and how much height it has covered by the object that you have to determine clear so you have to take the initial velocity of the object as zero because the object is falling from rest that means initial velocity of the object is zero and distance traveled in the last one second is 53.90 meter that is given to you so as it is freely falling body the value of a that is acceleration due to gravity you are taking as plus g and it is uh, you know the value of g is 9.81 meter per second square so if you are throwing the body in upward vertically upward direction then acceleration due to gravity will be negative so let us assume h as the height from which the object is falling which you have to find and t is the total time by the object in falling that is small t so you know we know the equation the equation is s is equal to ut plus half it is square so in order to find out the total distance covered by the object clear so we'll use that equation s is equal to ut plus half it is square instead of s we have substituted h and instead of a we have substituted g because as it is a freely falling body a is positive g so let us substitute the value of u which is initial velocity of the object as it is a freely falling body it is 0 into t in plus half 9.81 the value of g 9.81 is positive into t square so as this total value is 0 so after solving we are getting this h is equal to 4.9 t square okay so this let us take it as equation 1 so Next, by seeing this particular diagram, here let us find out, let us assume H1. So H1 is that distance, clear, distance traveled by the object in, so see, from A to B, the total time taken is T, and last one second, the distance traveled is 53.90, okay. So from here, from this object, when it is freely falling till here. So let us assume this as H1. So what will be the time taken as the total time is T and this is one second. So this distance will be T minus one. The total is T. This is one second. So this distance from here to here, it will be, it will be T1, T minus one. Okay. This I'm talking. So H1 is the distance traveled in t minus one second so again the same equation s is equal to ut plus half it is square this equation you are using it instead of s you are putting h1 u and t minus instead of t t minus one we are substituting and instead of a it is g as why we are taking initial velocity zero because the body we are finding out what is the distance traveled when body is freely falling from here to here what is the distance here finding it out so why we are finding this that this will come to know now here the initial velocity is zero so this total value is zero again for 9.81 the value of g we are taking divided by 2 into t minus 1 whole square so 4.9 into t minus 1 whole square this is let us take as equation 2 now the distance traveled in the last second is given as in the question 53.90 meter so in the last one second, so this distance, how to calculate? For example, let us take this point as C. So this is A, this is B ground level, and this is C. 
Suppose you know what is BC. BC, you know it. BC is 53.90. Okay. So can I write BC is equal to nothing but AB minus AC. AB minus AC is BC. So AB is H minus H1. H minus H1 is this distance. So H minus H1 is this distance. So distance traveled is this. So the equation value of H you'll get from equation 1, 4.9 t squared that I have substituted. The value of H1 you'll get from equation 2 is 4.9 into t minus 1 whole square. If t minus 1 whole square you'll open, you know that a minus b whole square formula, you know it. So when you open it, you'll get t squared plus 1 minus 2t. Okay. So this open the brackets and try to multiply. So 4.9 t square minus 4.9 t square minus plus 4 minus 4.9 plus 9.8 t. So this gets cancelled. So you'll get 53.90 is equal to minus 4.9 plus 9.8 t. This. So this minus 4.9 when it goes to the other side it becomes plus. So the final equation is 9.82 is equal to 58.8. After calculation of t, 58.8 divided by 9.8, we get 6 seconds. So, this, this is the time taken by the object to reach from top to bottom in a freely, when it is freely falling. This value, this time is 6 seconds, we got. Total time taken by the object in falling t, the value you got is 6 seconds. This value of t, you substitute in equation 1, you will get h. The, what is the equation 1? H is equal to 4.9 T squared. Value of T that 6 seconds you substitute and you will get the answer as 176.4 meter. So this is how we do solve the problem. I hope you have understood. Thank you.